I was never at a TED Talk, never saw one before. I only heard old Fred talk, and Fred was such a bore. So when they asked me to play here, I could have died of fright. Let me plainly say here, this simply isn't right. For I've no plan to save humanity. I got no cure for mass insanity. I got no British accent. <laughs> or special message from the back sense. I haven't even got a clever recipe for icing on the cake. So confidentially, between you and me, I think someone made a big mistake. <laughs> and, and so I fretted and I sweated and it turned out in the end I got a simple good idea that could become a trend. Think small, let that big idea go. Think small, if there's anything to know, if you want a thing to grow, think small. Get hip, you don't have to have a battleship. You can get there just as well in a tiny cockle shell. Think small. It's mighty wise to minimize, it's good for you. Instead of three, take two. Or maybe one will do. Think small, it's the panacea for us all. Don't be buried by your mess, you can get along with less. Think small. There's no call for you to have it all. When you know you have enough, you can dump a lot of stuff. Think small. Don't fret. It will only fill you with regret. Why, the less you cogitate, the less there is to hate. Think small. Imagine life without the strife, it's great for you. The benefits accrue, you live to 122. Think small, those two little words that say it all. You can agitate for more, but I'm walking out the door. Think small.
Thank you. Wow. What a rush to be here. Honestly, I really never have been in a TED talk, and so it was like a whole new experience. And, uh, <clears throat> and it's especially a challenge for me to, to really to think small, because look at this. I'm sitting at a grand piano. It's the biggest object in the room, and I'm supposed to think small, right? OK, well, anyway, that's a challenge in itself. So but I'm going to play Oh Lady Be Good by George Gershwin and his lovely wife, Ira. <laughs> The problem of thinking small is applied to Oh Lady Be Good and this grand piano. Um, now, I don't know, this, this might be a half-baked idea. I'm sure it's not original with me. Um, I'm sure that some other composers like, for instance, Bach uh, thought of it first. But the idea <clears throat> is to actually, to use only one voice, one melody line in each hand, you see. So it's like playing with two fingers, except I'm using all my fingers, of course, but it's, uh, it's, it's like, you know, it's having one melody line in each hand. And that restriction, uh, well, you have to be more creative, you see, at the keyboard. It's, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's a challenge that I'm still working out and will continue to work out even after TED Talks.
Now, okay. now uh, we're not done yet. The problem of thinking small has still not been solved because, uh, again, it's like, I could have done so much more with this humongous beast of a piano. It's really, I'm sorry I can't, you know, use all ten fingers or something or whatever it is. But um, I think, though, to, to really illustrate the problem of, of thinking small at a keyboard, I'm, uh, I've gotten a special instrument that I'm going to... Uh, hello, fellas. All right, you can bring it up now. Come on. Let's, uh, I've got two burly piano movers to bring this. Um, okay, come on, guys. All right. All right, be careful. Careful going up the steps there. That's... That's right, okay. Mm hmm And so, very good, okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to, uh, let's see, okay. Make my way, okay, this is, this is really good, all right. And, uh, okay. <laughs> and, um, yes, I'm going to concertize for you now. Uh, this is uh, the J. Marr toy piano, and um, well, I'm just gonna I'm just I'm gonna play a song called "So Blue." It's by De Silva, Brown, and Henderson, and Tom Marion, and uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful song from 1927, and here it is.